In this video, I'm gonna share with you the secret to exporting high quality videos in Premiere Pro 2023. So here inside Premiere Pro, I already have my clip down here on the timeline and I'm ready to export. So I'm gonna go to the very beginning of my video and I'm gonna press I on the keyboard to create an endpoint. And then I'm gonna go to the very end of my video and press O on the keyboard to create an out point. And this highlighted area here is where Premiere is going to export. Then go up here to the export tab. Once that's opened up, make sure under media file here, you have this toggled on, it will be highlighted blue. And then it should open up this area here and then go ahead and type out what you want your file name to be and select a location to where you want to save it and then just go ahead and click save then for preset you can go ahead and leave this at whatever you want because it's going to change to custom here in just a second so i'll typically just bypass this for format make sure that is set to h.264 and then go ahead and toggle on your video tab and then go over here to where it says match source and you can click on that and that is going to match whatever your sequence settings were if not you can go in here and uncheck this box if it's incorrect go down to custom and you can change this to 1920 by 1080 and once you've made those changes just make sure that you lock this here and then recheck the box for frame rate this should match your sequence settings as well my sequence was 23.976 but yours if it's not correct you can just go in here and change it to whatever you need it to be and then recheck that box build order should be set to progressive and then aspect should be set to square pixel 1.0 go ahead and click this box here for more and then make sure that you have the box checked for render at maximum depth and then check the box for use maximum render quality then scroll down here to your encoding settings and this is extremely important because this is going to really dictate how fast your video actually exports so ideally you want to use hardware encoding but not all computers are going to allow hardware encoding to work so if yours will not you will just have to select software encoding hardware encoding is going to use your gpu if it's strong enough and it will allow you to export faster not all computers are going to be able to do that so you may just have to select software encoding then go down here to profile and change this to high for level you can leave this at 5.0 and then scroll down here to your bitrate settings. And then for your bitrate settings, you have a couple of different options. So the first option you have here is CBR, which stands for constant bitrate. And constant bitrate just means that whenever your video is exporting, that your bitrate is going to remain constant throughout the entire export process. The next one that you have is VBR1 and VBR2 pass. And the difference between VBR1 pass and VBR2 pass is the number of passes that happens whenever your video is exporting and Premiere is assessing those areas that require more bitrate. And there's little to no difference between the two, so I typically shy away from VBR2 pass. Additionally, if you opted for hardware encoding, you will not be able to use VBR2 pass. So in a lot of situations, what I like to do is go to CBR and just kind of leave this at 90. But depending on what the actual size of the project is, this could be an extremely large file size. So what I like to do, this is my secret to being able to export videos in high quality and still have a lower file size, something that's not going to take a whole lot of time to export. It's just change this to VBR one pass, change your target bit rate to 30, and that should bring down your file size significantly and allow you to export a lot faster with higher quality. Then just go down here and make sure that your audio tab is toggled on. Go ahead and drop down that little tab there. And then under audio format settings, make sure your audio format set to AAC. Basic audio settings should be audio codec AAC, sample rate should be 48,000 hertz, channel should be set to stereo, and bit rate should be set to 320. Now, with all this being done, you don't wanna go through the steps every single time. So in order to instantly get these settings and not have to go through this process every time, just go up here to these little three dots under preset, and we're going to save a preset. And then we're just gonna type in high quality, export settings and then go ahead and press okay and now the next time you go to export you can just click on that high quality export settings and it will automatically have all these settings put in for you continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video edit like a pro by subscribing hitting the bell so you don't miss anything i'll see you in the next video